everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be continuing on with our Let's Play of Spirit Fair. Um, if you haven't watched the first part of this video, you can go ahead and check the description for a link to the first part. Um, that way you can get, you know, an introduction to the story, uh, see what you missed, because there were quite a few cutscenes at the very beginning. Um, and definitely some background that you should probably have to fully understand. Um, but if you were here last time, you'll remember that we are Stella, and we have a cat, and we are the new spirit fairer after the previous one passed along the Everlate to us and then proceeded to pass on. Um, so our job is to help the spirits pass on. And last time, we got our first boat. Um, so we started building that up. I believe we made one small sitting area and also a kitchen. And we have one spirit on board, and that is Gwen. So we are going to start off by speaking with Gwen. Ah, yes. I forgot to tell you about this. As you can see, this boat stops at night. I believe it's a side effect of your Everlight being, well, light, or some other technicality. Mm. That being said, it will allow people to sleep undisturbed. You, in the meantime, can do anything you want, tackle and finish business, or just chill on the deck under the stars. I'd suggest you go to sleep too, in that cozy little room atop your cabin. Mm. You'll wake up refreshed and ready to go, and this ship will start up again in the morning. Oh, and speaking of that... You know me. Waking up on time has never mm -hmm. been my forte. You can ring that big bell over there to wake people up. Remember, only do it mm -hmm. at the right time. Early morning should do the trick. Speaking of sleep, time for me to take a nap. See you tomorrow, mm -hmm. Stella. Have a good night. Okay, so... Last time, I also need to mention that I made a mistake. I continuously called Gwen Stella. And... I noticed, really noticed that until after I went back and I was editing the video, so I've got it down this time. We are Stella, that is Gwen. So, let's see. Right now, so... Um, I, okay, so we can't go down on our dinghy right now. Um, we can fish if we want. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else here aside from our kitchen, so maybe we can just look really quick and see what else we can cook, because the last time we were playing, we did end up fishing up quite a couple of things. So all the recipes are locked, but let's see, if we go in here... Let's try cooking a fish and see if we unlock something else. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. It's very relaxing, very calming. The music is great. Okay, so I'm not I don't think we need to wait in there while that's cooking, so maybe what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and go to bed. Um, I don't think... Yeah, so we can't even navigate right now or take a look at the map, so we're just gonna go to bed. Aww. Looks like our fish is done. Okay, so we slept. It is dawn, and as Gwen mentioned, if uh, you guys take a look at the top right corner, you can see the clock, and there is a bell icon. So, what we are going to do is go outside and ring the bell and wake Gwen up. And before we do that, Nice! So we did learn a new recipe. Grilled fish. So it doesn't look like it burned or anything overnight, which is good. So we'll go ahead. Good morning, Stella. Let's see, we're gonna take a look at her mood. 
So she's eaten the meals she likes, she's optimistic about her new journey, she likes comfort food and black coffee. So I'm not sure if we need to just feed the spirits every morning or if they have like some kind of icon above their head that'll pop up to say that they're hungry. Um, I guess we'll have to figure that out, but we're gonna go ahead and give one a hug. Thank you. Okay, so that raised her mood a little bit. Don't ask me how, but I've met Albert already. He definitely is a shark, but his interest in all things maritime will be helpful, such as the boat upgrades he sells at an outrageously high price. With those, you'll be able to cross ominous weather barriers in the world. They look like classic mythical challenges again. A bit cliche if you ask me. Okay, so take our popcorn out of the oven. And really quick, I think we are able to cook multiple at once, which I didn't do the last time. So we're just going to go ahead and throw the last one in there. It doesn't look like Gwen has anything else to tell us either. So we're just going to head over to our navigation app. So as you guys can see, I believe we started here at the Alt Harbor. This is the Everdoor, where we met with the previous spirit bearer, and he gave us the Everlight that began our journey. So we've also spoken to Albert. I don't believe there is an upgrade we need right now. Um, so it looks like there is an eye here. There is a star here. I'm not quite sure what that means. There is another area there. And then a cove here. Oh, so actually, I believe the star is actually us. So maybe what we'll do really quick before we go to the cove, we're just going to go ahead and travel in this direction towards the other island and see what resources we can get. You know, I'm delighted that you're here with me, but I'm not surprised one bit. It adds up. You here, taking care of me in my final hours? You've always cared so dang much about others, always protected those you found vulnerable, even pedantic snobs like me. Remember the day my father yelled at the cat? We just got out of elementary school. You were wearing those blue sneakers with the glittery tags, and there you were, yelling back at my father like you were on a mission. Father turned red and smashed the purple Delano vase. It was red. Nice. So it looks like we've known Gwen for a pretty long time. But nobody talks bad about our cat. Um, oh. Okay, so there was an icon here. I didn't get a chance to click on it. Um, but it looks like we have reached our first destination. I'm not quite sure... Maybe we'll just quickly talk to Gwen. A snack would be great right about now. So we're gonna feed her. That doesn't look like you can feed the spirits the same things twice. So, okay. So it's telling us that there are objects in the water. I'm just gonna jump off. Okay, so hold S and press space to dive. So we found a copper ore. Um, so I'm pressing us in space to dive. So maybe we can only dive where there are glowing spots. And what I did there was I just interacted with the floating crate and it opened. So that's kind of cool. I'm gonna dive here one more time. So yeah, it looks like you only need to dive in places where the water is glowing. So we're just gonna pick up as much as we can. Doesn't look like there's anything else over here. And climb back onto the boat. We're just gonna go ahead. So okay, so great. So we've cleared off this island, so now it's disappeared. 
Well, not island, but the shipwreck. Um, and now we're just gonna go ahead and travel to the other island. Shipwreck, not island. And see what else we can find. This is great. So, I'm actually quite curious how we end up picking other spirits up on our way or as we travel. Maybe it's just when we get to different areas. Um, I'm not sure if maybe we pass by like random small, like, like, you know, like small land pieces or areas in the middle of the water and then there's like spirit there. So I guess we'll just have to find out. But since there's not much on our ship to do, what we're gonna just go ahead right now and just keep ourselves occupied by fishing up some herring. And then maybe what we'll also do is we'll go up to the blueprint board after we reel this one in and see what else there is up there. I don't remember from the last time we played. Okay, so gonna hit tab really quickly. Um, we picked up some items, but I don't see them. Okay, so I think... Okay, so we only have the gu we already have the guest house. We don't need another one. We have the kitchen. So we can do a garden once we get some more materials, as well as a field. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything there that we can get either. But we have arrived at our second destination. So we're just going to go ahead and launch ourselves into the water. And see what goodies are here for us to sell. Yeah, so it looks like we've got a couple of empty bottles, maple logs, seeds, more copper ore. we go. Oh wait. So actually there looks like there's more because it didn't disappear like it did last time. I'm not sure. Did we just gonna quickly scan the water one more time just to make sure we didn't miss anything. And then we're gonna head over to our next objective. Only because, as Gwen mentioned, once it becomes nightfall, uh, the boat we cannot actually travel, so I don't want to get caught out here. And I can't quite reach the shells on the side. That's that she's just casually smoking. Okay, so she doesn't look like she wants to talk to us right now while she's in here. She's in pretty high spirits. Talked to her already. We won't be annoying. Let's go back outside. And we're just going to continue fishing. like right now the only fish the only type of fish that we are catching are herring i'm not sure if that'll change later 
but I think I remember last time we did also fish up an old shoe. And then we just fished up another one. Perfect. If you guys are enjoying the music, it's pretty it's lovely. Your little cat's over there playing with his Everlight. <laughs> totally like my cat when they're messing with their catnip toys. While I love dogs, I think cats are great. So, Mustine Cove discovered. Hi. So, we're gonna go ahead and walk over here and speak to Gwen really quick. Look at that. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. So, request advance. Seeds for the future. So, let's see. Talk to Gwen. Build a field. gonna jump down in the dinghy and once she gets up okay, I head off all right here we go what a majestic tree well you can cut it down yes mm -hmm. it's fine I promise it's the best way to get the wood you need, actually, but don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlate. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> I love this. So, our Everlate fused with our lovely cat's Everlate, and we're just gonna <laughs> go back and forth and chop down the tree. We've got nine maple logs from that. Congratulations, for you have become death the destroyer of worlds. Joke aside, that's how you do it. You go on ahead, cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all those maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Okay, so while we're here, we'll just also see what else we can pick up. I just love that our cat is just floating and suspended in the air while I'm <laughs> sawing down the tree. Right. Looks like there's some ore here. Hold E as long as possible to break the mining node. Whoa. Okay, so I guess we hold E, but not that long. We do have to let it go. Gotten seven limestone. I'm just gonna hop in the water. Okay, so actually, that looks like that is the end of this cove. There's nothing else. But we did manage to shake some berries free out of the two bushes here, cut down two trees, got some stuff out of here when we first got on the island. So I'm gonna walk back over to Gwen. There's nothing to talk to her about, so we're just gonna hop in the boat and make our way back. So we're gonna go to the blueprint board, and we are going to build a field. Okay, so it looks like we can build on top of things, which is pretty nice. Um, what I do want to see... One, two, three... Okay, so I believe the kitchen is about three, four, five spaces. Um, I'm not quite sure if we have anything that's four spaces, but for right now, we're just going to go ahead and place the field there, and then maybe if we open some cosmetic items there, we'll be able to fill in the gap, mm -hmm. just so it's not empty. A field. So 
we're gonna jump over here and talk mm -hmm. to Gwen. Ha, huh, it's better looking than I thought. There has a little genistic plot to it. Simple, mm -hmm. but elegant. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in fields, so mm -hmm. don't bother trying. But you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word on this. Anyway, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specializes mm -hmm. in seeds. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town of the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral values. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingbird, mm -hmm. then. We just need to find some seeds for that field. Okay. So it's nighttime. We can't pull off right now anyways. But Gwen is absolutely right. This seems to be the second shady salesperson that she is connecting us with. And when she was talking about uh, the shop in Hummingbird, it definitely gives me PTSD because it makes me think of Tom Nook robbing all of my bells from me. So... We're just going to click on the wheelbarrow really quick and I guess from there we enter into um, separate interactions just for the slots. So we actually do have some field seeds. So we are going to plant our corn in one spot. We'll do some coffee actually because one does like coffee. Go ahead and water our seeds. Okay, and then we're going to exit that. And we're just going to go ahead and go to bed. Yep. And we're going to snuggle up with our dear daffodil. And it looks like our boat is growing, guys. So I'm not sure how big our boat is going to get. I know when I took a look at the website, uh, it definitely looked pretty big on their preview pictures. So we're going to go ahead and set our destination. So we are going to Hmm. So we'll go here first. We're going to set our sights on another wreckage. And then what we'll do is we'll go back over to those jellyfish fields. Because if you guys remember the last time Gwen had us go there because we needed the materials to build uh, one of the buildings downstairs. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm okay now. Okay, so she is hungry. Mm. Okay. She's a lot better right now. Fed Gwen. But yes, if you guys remember last time we had like a little interaction where the jellyfish were floating in the air at Stella Gwen. Sorry, not Stella. Gwen was particularly afraid of the darkness. Um, but that was pretty cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to head over here to salvage what we can then we are also going to hit both jellyfish spots and then from there we will go over to the next town to visit the vendors that Gwen is telling us about. So we're going to put both of those and we're going to dive off the edge of the ship and see what we find. So the last two spots that we were at, um, the glowing areas in the water just seem to have copper. So I'm assuming that's probably what's here as well. What else? What is this? So we found quartz, actually, and a mussel. And I can't quite reach that other shell, but that's okay. That's fine. Other muscle, and then as usual, we're just 
just going to swim our way to the other end and make sure we didn't miss anything important. As you guys can see, where Gwen is standing, our seeds seem to be growing a little bit. But we're going to go in here and set our navigation for one of the dark areas. So... Um, I think we'll go to this one first, because it's the furthest away. Then maybe we'll go straight to the town, and then from there we'll go up. That just seems like it makes the most sense. So while we're making our way over there, we're just going to quickly water our crops. Okay. Nothing that Gwen needs to say to us right now. take our food out of the oven. Nice! So we've made two plates of grilled veggies. And we're also going to go ahead and cook our turnip. way there right now. Um, if you guys can see up in the top left, there's a navigation bar, um, and it shows how close we are to our destination. Let's take a quickly look. I know we picked up a few things on the last island, but okay, so we need... No, so we don't need the bright jellies, actually, because we already have the kitchen, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, but we do need lightning in a bottle. I'm not quite sure how we're going to get that yet, but I do know that we have bottles, so maybe there is a way for us to capture it. Oh, great. Jellyfish are here again. Remember, you just have to crash into them to make the light burst out. You won't get hurt, and I will feel queasy. I know they will be back, but at least it will buy me a bit more time. What do you say? Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Okay, so Gwen's just going to go back inside. As I mentioned previously, she is afraid of the jellies. But this they actually have materials that we need, so we don't really have a choice but to come here and, you know, interact with them. So we're actually going to stand... Oh, on top of our buildings, but we don't quite have the height to catch the ones that are really far up, so we're just going to have to make do and collect what we can. most important ones it looks like are the ones that drop the bright jelly oh no we missed it that's okay here comes another one we're gonna make sure we grab it when it comes in our direction there's actually two or three it looks like so, we're going to climb up there and grab those. Here comes another. And we use the glims as well when we go to have Albert do upgrades for us. So, we want to make sure we can capture as many of these as possible. And I believe that's it. Okay, we're just going to... We'll just make sure that we cook everything. Only makes sense keep the stove going. Hummingbird awaits. 
So we are going to make our way over to Hummingburg. And I think once we get there, um, we'll probably end this video there. Just so it's not too long. <laughs> wonder if it shows us... Okay, so it looks like if we hit enter, we can only just water them. So it doesn't show us how, how much time it takes to, or for the crops to grow. Um, okay, so it also looks like right now, the additional upgrades that Albert has to offer us back at the shipyard, we have enough glims for the hobbyist. And this is to upgrade our blueprint station, actually. Um, and then we can also build a mailbox, but we're gonna need a linen thread, the lightning in a bottle, which we also need for buildings, and the intrepid otter. So gather the resources and return to Albert Shipyard to get a bigger boat. So, hmm, what we might do is start with hobbyist because we're gonna need more buildings and as you guys saw i believe there's only one left that we haven't put so far which was the garden and then we will expand our boat because as you can see we can build up um but when we are in build mode you can also see that there is a limit to how high we can go so we're gonna need both so we will go to the other jellyfish dark area and collect some more glims there and that should give us enough to get both upgrades. The third one for the mailbox will just have to wait a little bit longer because there are some materials that we just haven't found. But we are almost to our destination of Hummingburg. If you guys can see in the distance, we're starting to see some land mass in the background. Okay, so Oops, sorry. So it looks like we are here, but we didn't get any kind of notification that we've arrived. So it looks like I was slightly off point. But there's not far to go. It's a very small ride into port. So as you guys can see, there it is in the background. Hummingbird discovered. All right, guys. Well, I think what we're going to do is we're going to end part two of Spirit Fair here. Um, and the next time when we come back, we are going to hop in the dinghy with our dear friend Gwen. And we will explore Hummingbird and another one of her shady friends, or at least shady dealers that she knows. Um, but yeah, if you guys are enjoying this, uh, you can consider leaving a like, leaving a comment, or subscribing. Um, any of the above. But either way, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. Um, I'm also hoping that next time when we do go onto the island, maybe we'll pick up an additional spirit. Um, and maybe when we upgrade our blueprint table, we can build better living quarters for the spirits. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!